Egghead is one of the best written arcs in all of One Piece. Many strong characters that we knew only on the surface level now give us some emotional connection to them. Oda also provided a few hidden hints for a possible future Straw Hat. Many people believe that the Straw Hat Pirates crew is complete and there won't be a new member anymore, so I will explain why I am sure that there will be new characters joining the crew. Currently there are 11 Straw Hats, including Vivi, an idea that One Piece fans have theorized about for years years is 444. Luffy will pick up four crewmates for each part of his journey. The first four from the East Blue, Zoro, Nami, Usopp, and Sanji. Chopper, Robin, Frankie, and Brooke came from the Grand Line. The last four will come from the New World. Jinbei already joined. Vivi left the Straw Hats after defeating Baroque Works to stay in her home country, but is still considered a member of the crew. After escaping Mary Joey's, Vivi became a fugitive and went into hiding from Emu and the Five Elders. She will reunite with the Straw Hats soon. Since Skypea, Luffy is portrayed as some kind of messiah. It's heavily implied in the Whole Cake and Wano arcs, and it's been repeated many times that the world has been waiting for some kind of savior figure. Crocus, Roger, Whitebeard, Pedro, King, Kaido, they all have mentioned it. After the revelation of Luffy's sun god Nika form and his parallels with Joy Boy, it's confirmed that Luffy is the man the world has been waiting for for centuries. Oda uses different religions in One Piece, Hinduism, Buddhism, and so on. But in Wano and Egghead, we had a lot of parallels to Christianity, and all parallels were connected to Nika, aka Luffy. I believe the same way that Christ had 12 disciples, Luffy will have 12 crewmates, 4 from East Blue, 4 from the Grand Line, and 4 from the New World, making 13 Straw Hats in total. I also believe that new Straw Hats will be characters that we already know because we are already in the final saga and there won't be enough time to introduce new important characters, show their backstories, and make us love them like other Straw Hats. As there are not many arcs left, I believe one of the new members has to join the crew after Egghead. There are four possibilities. Kuma, Vegapunk, Bonnie, and Gizaru. Kuma is the most confusing one. We know that he is headed to Egghead and probably he has the biggest death flag from these four. Kuma already has a strong connection to the crew. He is the one who saved the crew back on Sabaody. He also protected the Sunny during the two year time skip. Not to mention his connection with Dragon and Sabo and his admiration for Nika. Kuma has been in the story for more than 800 chapters already. Final and most important bit of reasoning is Kuma's Devil Fruit. This has been theorized for years. Most of us know that the Straw Hats Devil Fruit's names are based on numbers. For example, Gomu Gomu no Mi is 5 and 6. So far we have Gomu, 5-6, Hito, 1-10, Hana, 8-7, and Yomi, 4-3. Well, Kuma's Devil Fruit is the Nikyu Nikyu no Mi, or Paw Paw Fruit, and Nikyu is 2 and 9, which fits the theme perfectly. I believe Kuma's possibility of death is 60% and the possibility of joining the Straw Hats is 10%. Unlike Kuma, Vegapunk has a big chance of surviving at Egghead. For many years, Vegapunk was one of the most mysterious characters and Oda revealed him 50 chapters ago, so I'm sure he won't kill Vegapunk so easily. He is the main character of this arc and still has a lot to do in the story. Like the Straw Hats, he has a dream as well. Vegapunk desires to create an endless energy source, a dream that is symbolized by the ancient robot the Vegapunk Vegapunks are studying. Just like Robin, Vegapunk has inherited O'Hara's will in studying the ancient kingdom and the Void Century, though rather than being interested in the history of the Void Century like Robin is, he instead studies the ancient kingdom to uncover its technology. Also, let's not forget the coming of a new era. Despite the fact that he is already 65 years old, still, Vegapunk is one of the primary drivers of progress in the real world. I will say that Vegapunk is my least favorite option from these four, but it's undeniable that he fits the Straw Hats theme perfectly. Possibility of death 10%, possibility of joining the Straw Hats 30%. The third option is Bonnie, and I think her vibes perfectly match the Straw Hats. We have two perverts, Sanji and Brooke, two geeks, Chopper and Usopp, two mature, calm ones, Robin and Jinbei, and two cowards, Nami and Usopp. Bonnie and Luffy can be glutton ones. Besides, her entomophobia, as we've seen in Egghead, can be quite the running gag if she joins. On the other hand, we know how much Luffy loves beetles. It was shown in cover stories, in One Piece films, during Luffy's childhood, at Fishman Island, and even on Egghead. Another funny thing will be Bonnie using her devil fruit powers on crew members just for fun. Everyone would like to see Kid Jinbei or Old Zoro. We can find her ties with the Straw Hats from her very first appearance. She protected Zoro at Sabaody, prevented him from 
from making a scene by slaying a celestial dragon, which could have been much worse for the crew than Luffy punching him in the face. Robin similarly saved Luffy in Alabasta after Luffy lost a crocodile. On top of that, she also knows Sabo, Luffy's brother. Luffy even calls her by her actual name. I mean, Luffy and Law had an alliance since Punk Hazard, and Luffy still keeps calling him Tragi. Also, I think we can agree that Bonnie and the Straw Hats have the same enemies, Akainu, Blackbeard, and the Celestial Dragons. She even attacked Saturn, one of the Gorosei, so right now we can consider the whole world government as her enemy. Like other Straw Hats, she had a pretty difficult childhood, especially after Kuma became a cyborg. Kuma did everything to give Bonnie a good childhood and saved her life, but her story is still tragic. It was revealed in the Viva Card books that her crew got captured and only she managed to escape. Her only choice now, if she wants to remain in the piracy world, is joining a Yonko such as Luffy. I think there is no doubt that she will escape from Egghead. After witnessing Kuma's backstory and seeing how much he did for Bonnie to survive and live a happy life, it will be the most unexpected thing for Oda to kill her in this arc, so she has to go with the Straw Hats. Last but not least, if Kuma dies at Egghead, at least Bonnie, his daughter, who is also inspired by Nika, will witness Nika defeating the world government with her own eyes. Possibility of death? Zero percent. Possibility of joining the Straw Hats, 70 percent. Now let's talk about Kizaru. I believe no one has ever thought about Kizaru joining the Straw Hats before Egghead, but this arc changed everything. Oda showed us that Kizaru is actually a very emotional character. He is just confused. He does not know what he believes in, so he just follows orders. In this arc, he fought and defeated Sentamaru. Later, he destroyed Vega Force 01, humanity's giant robot of dreams, and he knows how valuable the robot was to Vegapunk. Later, he faced Bonnie. While talking to her, it seemed like Kizaru hoped that at least Bonnie would be on his side because she wanted to kill Vegapunk, but even Bonnie is against him. He clearly does not want to fight his friends, as he says the next words, don't make me hurt people I know more than I already have. Then he mentions that this mission is tough for him too and does not want to drag it on too long and tries to attack Vegapunk. Even if all of them survive, Kizaru already lost all of his close friends. Kizaru eating his favorite food, miso ramen, before the fight is also a good hint for his change or death. When Kizaru witnessed Luffy's Gear 5 form for the first time, he was both excited and surprised. In the current chapter, we see Kizaru in Nika's pose, indicating that Kuma must have shared the legend with him. While we can't definitively say if Kizaru believed in this legend, he observed that Kuma held on to hope regardless of any situation. For many years, Nika remained just a legend, yet Kuma continued to believe in it, and I am confident that this will serve as an inspiration for Kizaru. Bonnie is in danger right now. If Kuma comes, Kuma will be in danger as well, and I believe it will be the last straw for Kizaru, and he will attack Saturn to protect his friends. Then he won't have anywhere to go. Killing or even attacking Saturn and leaving the marines will make Kizaru one of the most wanted criminals in the world, so he will join Luffy the same way Kuzan joined the Blackbeard Pirates. I still think that Kuzan has a plan, but if he actually became a pirate, Kizaru vs Kuzan will be a great matchup when the Straw Hats and Blackbeard Pirates fight. Possibility of death, 40%. Possibility of joining the Straw Hats, 20%. In conclusion, Bonnie has the highest chance of joining the crew, while Kuma has the lowest. I think for now, fans' favorite is Kizaru. People love plot twists and witnessing a bad guy becoming good. Also, an admiral joining the crew will hype everyone, but logically, it's still less likely. But before revealing a new crewmate, Saturn must be defeated at Egghead, and he is just too powerful. If you want to see the overpowered Devil Fruits of the Gorosei, you can watch this video right here. Thanks for watching.